Hey guys, what's happening? This is Forgo Nation, and today we're gonna have a little fun with Paul. So let's take a look at this guy. Now my Paul's at level 77. Uh, he's becoming quite difficult to rank up because in order to get him leveled up, we need these green souls and we need these ASs. And unfortunately, these things are pretty dang hard to come by. I'm saving these rainbow souls for someone else in the future, but this is pretty tough. You can't farm this guy in the soul quest which really sucks uh, you go to soul quest here and you go to the green element and you don't see paul anywhere all the tekken characters after the te after the tekken collaboration were removed from soul quest so that sucks you can't level up their uh souls and i actually need to do this ad so i can get some more souls for okay here i'm working on this guy and, but it just sucks that you can't, you know, if you got a Tekken character, the only way you can level them up is by getting souls, which is kind of a bum deal, man. Kind of a bum deal. Definitely so, slows the progress down as far as building your character. Now, you take a look at his profile here. Again, he's level 77. His leadership, he offers a 60% uh, increase to attack fires, which is pretty nice. Decreases his HP by 10%. You look at his core effects. You know, he's got 160%, 160 penetration increase. Increases damage of hangover combo by 60% for 5 seconds upon landing hangover combo. Stuns, target, stuns target for 2 seconds upon landing a critical hit on a 20 second cooldown. So pretty freaking cool there. And of course he's got this, this same Tekken buff here. Recovers HP by 2% every 1 second for 5 seconds when attacked while frozen, stunned, or petrified. That's pretty useful. That's very useful. Could be very useful in PvP. But his rage mode is the same as the other Tekken characters, you know. And when he rage increases attack by 40%, decreases damage received by 30%, when HP is 50% or less. That is so cool that they did that with all the Tekken characters. He's got the attack buff here, power gain buff, which is very useful. He's got the 2% strike skill attack damage increase and increases damage by 6% on critical hit, which is really nice. So you take a look at his skills. His first skill, he gains super armor. And he just strikes forward, does a nice solid punch. Pretty cool. And then inflicts damage equal to 580% of attack to an enemy. Increases critical rate by 2% for 12 seconds upon a successful attack. And stacks up to 3. And this is that hangover combo where you can actually get, hopefully get your stun. And then the third skill inflicts damage equal to 590% of attack to an enemy. 100% chance to ignore targets guard upon landing a skill which is really awesome so if they're guarding you're going to ignore it and still do damage to them so this is a really powerful skill really love it man paul's a really interesting character but if you guys notice man i do not have him leveled up very good at all his striker bonus increases the active team members at critical rate by 10 percent for 10 seconds which could be useful for some characters for sure but i mean level one level three Level 1, level 1, he has all strike skill attacks. So maybe you could give him a card set that increases strike skills. Um, I decided to go a little bit different route. But first we'll take a look at his cores. His cores are nothing special, guys. You know, he's only level 77. I still need to level up these cores, uh, which would be pretty freaking useful, you know. Look at this. Inflicts damage equal to 640% of attack to an enemy. 100% chance to ignore targets guard upon landing a skill. And right now, let's back up a little bit. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay, so we already have the 100% chance to ignore targets guard upon landing a skill. Okay, good. That's just what I wanted to make sure of. As far as this card set, nothing special. I still have as a uh, uh, ultimate card uh, at five stars level one haven't done anything with it all uh, really should take these up to level 30 because it really isn't that big a deal I have plenty of resources for that but leveling the skills up on the card is really where it gets extremely expensive you know trying to level up this right here increasing the damage of the card so I'm just holding off for other characters is the thing I'm holding off for other banners because I'm really hoping Oroshi is going to come to this game really soon. But even if he doesn't, you know, Omega Rugal is another character I want to build up. You know, there's there's other characters that I'm waiting for to come in the banner. And that I'm going to prioritize 
all my uh, resources for. But I have this card set here for uh, for Paul. It's just uh, this set increases critical rate by 2.7% and gives him an attack buff by 2.3%. So three of these cards is giving him about 7% more attack. And plus he's getting that crit rate, which which is nice. You know, nothing special, but, you know, useful. This card here is a really great card. Increases HP and decreases skill cooldown. When you take this up to level 10, it'll go up to 1.9 seconds, which is pretty nice. But we'll be okay with what we're doing today. And then this other card here, all it does is just offer a little HP and attack. Generally, you want to have two cards that decrease skill cooldown. But for what we're doing today, we really don't need it. He'll be just fine. And then for his affinity, I got it up to level 15. Luckily, whenever we did have the Tekken collaboration, we had the Rush event where we could get all these resources and level up all our Tekken characters to level 15 and get all these bonuses and all these extra souls, which is really nice, plus the rubies. Very cool. So let's go into the event quest right here because, and I've been going in, here every day guys and farming like crazy doing what I can uh, well, come on waiting for the internet let's go are you gonna crash on me well come on what's going on here there we go finally but in the expert you can get AS and these blue souls. Now, them blue souls aren't going to help Paul, but they'll help other characters. The AS will help level up Paul. I mean, it's a slow grind, but you guys can see I've already did two runs, but I want to say run run for the video. And we only got two days left, so I'm trying to farm as much as this as I can. So let's go in here. And we're just going to use Paul, guys. We're not going to use these other guys, just this old boy, because he's going to give that 60% attack leadership for himself. And actually for these other two characters, but it really doesn't matter. As far as the link effect, uh, he is getting an extra 2% attack for every 10 combos. That stacks up to 3. And an increased power charge rate by 7% when power is 2 or less, which is nice. So you see the recommended CP is 10,000. And we have 10,000. Paul is a green element, and the guy we're facing is a blue the boss is going to take 30% less damage from us because we're a green element. I believe. I believe that's right. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, guys. Now, this guy is actually pretty easy to beat. All you really want to do is get behind him when he's attacking, but the rotation I like to use for Paul is I like to start with the 3, then I hit the 1, then the 2. And that works pretty good. I did take a little damage there. Watch out for this guy. He's got that super armor up. Get him, get him, get him. Alright, alright. I wanted to save my skills for these guys. Gotcha, punk. Boom. Piece of cake, guys. Easy peasy. Now that we have our special up, we're just going to go ahead and get in front of this guy and use our special. And then he'll get stunned, and then we can start beating him up with our skills. Love Paul's special, man. That is nice. Reminds me of the good old days. Get out of the way. Watch out. Watch out. Here we go. He's going to jump again. There we go. Dodge that, Pecker. Oh, he got me. I didn't think you... I thought I was out of the way. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Gotcha. Freaking going down, bud. If Paul was belt better, he could definitely take a whole lot more. But as you guys can see, it's still pretty easy for old boy. 
No problem. Let's take on something a little bit more challenging. Where we won't have enough CP to get it done. And see, you want to, this is what we want, guys. We want to grind for that AS, man. Slowly but surely. So let's get out of here. Let's take on Yashiro. He's a pretty tough boss. Let's take this guy on. There we go. And Yashiro is a green element, and so is the Paul, so they're going to be a level playing field. Yashiro needs 14, you need 14,000 CP, and I only have uh, 10,000, so we are 4,000 under. So this is going to be pretty difficult for Paul, but I feel pretty confident Oh boy can do this, even with this build, guys. So this is going to be a bit of a tough road, but we can do it, guys. We can do it. Yeah, yeah, skip all that crap. Here we go. Booyah! Well, that wasn't bad at all. I actually did a lot better than I thought he was going to do. Okay. Here, we'll just go ahead and use our special script. Pow! Love it. Love it. And one of the reasons, guys, I used that too, the last... Is because hopefully you'll get that stun and then you can go and lead into some more combos. That seems to work out really nice for old Paul. Yeah. There we killed him a little too fast. Oh, I got some freaking poison damage on us. Oh, crap. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Get off him. Get off me. Let's pound him. Getting burned. <laughs> I'm getting burned, literally. Okay, okay. You got a bit of low life. I should have brought in an HP striker, but eh, it is what it is. We'll be alright. We need to make sure we don't get hit by this guy, so that way he doesn't stack his stuns. Whoa! Freaking got a stun on us. God dang it. Oh man, that was terrible. That was bad, guys. I did terrible. I wasn't sure which side he was going to be on. <laughs> Boom! So hopefully one of these days I'll get this guy up to level 90 and actually try to do a good showcase for you guys. But if you would like to see him in some PvP or something like that, just let me know, guys, and I'll cue that up. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one.